I'm working with Elements version 13. I have a photo here. This was taken with a, a cell phone and it doesn't have flash. So it has a rather brassy look. I have the photo open. I'm on the quick tab here. I clicked on call. When you hold your mouse over here, it gives you different looks. You can make it black and white. Uh, you can see how some look a little more natural. I click on that one here or I could click on this one here. That's a little too subtle. That's the original. I go over there. I just go over here. I choose that. And I'm on the view of after only. You could say before and after here. So let's pretend that we like this, okay? I'm going to say expert now. What I want to do, um, I think it changed it back. When I go back into quick here, Bear with me one second. I'm on the quick tab. I'm going to go into color. We got that. And what I needed to do, um, we have that done there. We could also click on auto. If you don't like it, you can always undo. You can play with the hue thing here. And I have that there. Uh, that looks reasonably natural, okay? So if I have that, I'm going to go back and preview this before and after vertical. Um, I can make it horizontal. Let's say we like this, okay? So I'm going to do a save. I'm just putting revise at the end so I don't ruin it. By keeping this at 12, this is the largest thing here. That way, if you're printing it out. Now, I'm going to click on Expert. We've got that in here. What I want to do, I want to show you how to blur out the background just a little bit. To do this, we're going to duplicate the letter layer. I do a Control-J or Command-J here. What I want to do here, I want to uh, blur the background out. I hide this layer here at the top here. And what I'm going to do, very easy, I click on Filter. I click on Blur. I'm going to click on Gaussian Blur. I'm going to pull this over here. If I pull it way over, you can see it's really out of focus. You don't want it to be too out of focus. It's going to look fake. I'm going to go over here. Uh, I could diffuse this a little bit more. A lot of this is personal preference. I say OK. So I've got that done there. OK, I'm going to unhide this layer here. So that's showing. I'm on the layer there. So we're going to look at this in one second. This is the sharp layer, okay? What I'm going to do, there's a couple of ways of doing this. I'm going to add an adjustment layer. This works really good. Um, I don't want that there. Close that out. So to do this, layers, I got the layers just eliminated there. I click up here, layer mask, new fill, and I want to call it an adjustment layer. It's that circle thing there. Sorry, people. Okay, now what you do here, this is interesting. You hit the letter B for brush, okay? Now, if I go in here and I enlarge it by hitting the right bracket, it's a little tricky the first couple of times, but you'll get used to it. You click inside here. I go into here. It's erasing. And I want to show you something in a minute, okay? I'm not going to do a perfect job here, but I want to show you how you can fix this. Oops. Go over here. See how it's blurring out the background here? Now, wait a minute, okay? I accidentally blurred out her face. Oh, no. What do we do? You reverse the color here, the white and the black. And now I can go into here, make her sharp. I want to reverse it, and I want to go into here. If I want to make the brush smaller, 
use the left bracket. It's now smaller, and I have to reverse that. And you can see how it's diffusing that out. When you're doing this, it's going to take more than a couple of minutes, okay, to do this. And you can see the thing here. What you can also do is hide that back layer there. That way you could see, really get a good idea of what is going on. I'm just doing this quickly as a tutorial to show you this. I can go over here, get the hair, go over there, deet, deet, deet. So you're getting an idea. I'd have to go into here, make the brush smaller. If I want to make the canvas bigger, control plus. And I go over here, pull it up here, drag over here. And then if I want to reverse the thing here, click on that. And then it brings back part of his head. So I got the ears there. I want that to be here. Click on, the, oops, cancel. I click back in here. You sometimes have to click back in there. Otherwise, you're going to end up painting the picture. And I just go into here, get rid of that. And so... We've got that, and then I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna unhide this layer here, and I'll shrink this down a bit. This is the retouch photo, and I'm gonna show you the original. That was the original. You can definitely see an improvement. One thing I do suggest to you photographers, whether you're a novice or experienced, only show the retouched photo to the customer your friend they don't need to see the before where they look like they were painted with orange makeup